Hey guys, I'm Captain Brian and this is Big Lake Little Boat. Today's video is not going to be about fishing. It's going to be about um, upgrading some planer boards that I've gotten. So if you guys have been following the channel, you guys know that I use the walleye board from church. Um, I have, I get zero commissions from them or nothing. So um, they don't pay me to do anything. It's just boards that I've gotten in the past. But um, the trouble I'm running into here is these pinch pads are getting weak. I've tightened them down. I've, I've uh, you know, put line inside there. I've wrapped it and put it in. And what they're doing out on the water is they're slipping on me. So I've been racking my brain over how to stop that slipping. Okay, so over Christmas, Max and I got a few of these ninja boards and my buddy Jacob uh, he told me about them and they seem to be pretty hardy. Okay, so we plan on using these on um, Trying these out on the coppers because coppers pull a lot of stuff um, But I, I need a fix for these. Okay, and I thought about replacing these getting on church's website and uh, replacing them, but but then I got on offshore's website and offshore I have nothing to do with offshore. They don't pay me or anything, but they actually have a pin pad or they actually have a pad and um, that has a little pin in it. And I looked at it and I'll show you guys what I have here and um, what I'm thinking. So, cause this, this is really getting annoying. Uh, you know, we set these things out and all of a sudden, especially the outside boards seem to slip the most cause they're out the furthest and I'm sure there's more pressure on them. So what I've researched and, and I've got loads of tackle and terminal tackle just put away and I knew I knew I had one of these and I wanted to take a peek at it this is an OR16 from Church Tackle okay and I don't know if you can see that but there is a pin inside this and this is a really stiff pinch pad okay this is the stiffest one that they make and what I want to do is retrofit this onto my church board here, okay? So you've got this little screw and this little nut here, and I'm gonna pop that out. And there's also a little plastic bump that pops out. And I can actually put this in that bump so it doesn't. this thing won't move, otherwise this thing might swivel back and forth. Put that in there, and I've gotten a screw and a nut as well. Um, we're going to have to plug this guy up with JB Weld because it's probably compromised this little plastic piece slightly. And uh, JB Weld that up, drill a hole here, put a similar, a similar screw. I found a wider screw that will fit that hole better, which I'll tell you what size that is. And uh, we'll put this thing together. So my buddy Jacob also told me a little trick, okay, and I wish... I wish I'd known this before because I would have liked to try this with even these weaker pinch pads. Okay, so he told me once we're out of the water and uh, you know we put you pull the pin, you put the line in, and he said twist the board, okay, five or six times, maybe seven, and then clip it in. And he says your board will never never slide when you do that. So I'm excited to try this whole thing because I'm getting irritated with slipping boards. So I have a bunch of these. It's not like, you know, I can go out and buy a bunch of these ninjas, which is fine, but um, I don't want to sit here and rack up another $150, $200 when I have 10 of these. So I think these are eight or $9 a piece. They're not cheap, but um, you know, they'll, they're cheaper than buying a whole new supply of ninja boards. So anyways, I got these on order. They're coming in. But uh, in the meantime here, I'm going to show you how this is retrofitted, what size of screw I got, what nut, and um, how this is all going to fit on here. So I'm pretty pumped about improving all my boards. And some of these, we got a couple used boards too that are, fade, that are really faded, and I know their pinch pads are shot. So, so stay tuned. So the first thing we're going to do is get that nut. Get a Phillips head screwdriver right here and get this nut off of here and get this get this whole pinch pad off.
I've got a pair of vice grips, so I'm going to clip it on here. I've got this little tiny screw driver here, this little Phillips head. Okay guys, pops right off. This is what that board looks like without that pinch pad. Okay, so that hole's probably not a big deal, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug tape under here. Okay, she's plugged up with JB Weld. I'm gonna do that with all my boards here, but in the meantime, to get this video done, I'm gonna show you uh, what screws I used or what screws I'm going to use and um, how I'm going to retrofit this. So like I said guys, this is an OR16. This is red and it does have that it does have that pin in there. So the cool thing is is this little knob right here fits in right inside this guy. But it doesn't match. You can see that this hole is not matching. Okay, this is what it looks like, and you can see that open hole, which, like I said, we're going to be JB welding this closed. <clears throat> but we're still going to have to drill a hole right here. Okay, so I found a drill bit that fits perfectly in this. Okay, I don't even know what size of drill bit that is, but um, I had a wide range of drill bits, and it fits. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up like so, and I'm going to hold it still, and I'm going to point it out straight as I possibly can, and move my finger not to drill through it. And uh, we got that hole drilled. Let's, uh, so we got a couple different sizes here. These are, this is the number six fine thread pan head. And I got this from Ace Hardware. This is a three quarter inch, okay? And I also got a half inch because I didn't know, you know, what size I actually needed here. Um, and then I got a six, a number six stop nut. Okay, so here's a stop nut. It's got that nylon inside there. So, you know, the three quarters too long, and the and the half is just a little short, but I still think I'm gonna just use the half. Okay, and. I'm pretty sure when Church put these boards in, they used a half. And what they did was they counters, countersink that to make the half inch work. Okay. But I think I can put this on here and put that half inch number six fine thread down inside there and put that nut on there. And I still think it's going to be tight enough anyways. Okay guys, so I've got that I've got that drilled out. That screw fits in there. This is gonna fit right on that little knob. I'm gonna put that screw right down inside there. Okay, it's through. Now there's just enough screw sticking out. For that number six stop nut to go on there okay and I think if I tighten that down enough it should be all right okay now that one plastic knob it works out kind of good there because it is not moving so otherwise if we just had that on there it'd be swinging back and forth
let's tighten it down. And that is that screw is almost to the end of that nylon piece in that nut. And that is tight. So for all intents and purposes, guys, that's it. This guy bends out. I'll be able to hook on my line, put it in there, twist it. Put her in here. Get it behind that pin. And I've just upgraded my church boards, guys. So pretty pumped about it. And that is rock solid. I'm pretty sure that that's never going to loosen. Um, so like I said, guys, this is a these are fine thread screws, half inch and number six pan head. And the, the uh, stop nut here is actually zinc because Ace did not have a stainless because these screws are stainless. But I'm honestly not worried about it rusting. Once these come out of the water, they dry off pretty fast. And if I do start see, start seeing them rust, I will uh, take them off and replace them. So, anyways, guys, one way uh, I improved this board, and if you guys are having trouble with your church boards, take a peek at that. You know, find you an OR16, get some of these screws, and um, improve it. So guys, thanks for uh, checking this out. If you guys are having trouble with your church boards, um, I hope this uh, fixes it for you. And um, if you like this content, and if you want to see other salmon fishing content, please like and subscribe. Um, please look down on the link be below. I do work with vendors, Northeast Troller. He's got excellent salmon gear. Check him out. Um, I work with Great Lakes Gear. Fantastic shirts, really cool. He's got awesome sun shirts, sweatshirts, a company to work with. I do have discount codes. Check them out, and we'll see you on the next video.